Shalom, and welcome to this week's video board for Parashat Ki Tetze. More than 70 mitzvot are mentioned in this week's parasha, and Rashi quotes the famous Mishnah that says, Mitzvah Goreret Mitzvah. One mitzvah leads to the next. And he brings it at the beginning of the parasha when one mitzvah almost literally leads to the next. You buy a house and you have to build different things that around it, surrounding the house, etc., etc. At the end of the parasha, though, we see the mitzvah of Zechirat Amalek, remembering what Amalek did to us. The mitzvah before that is the prohibition to not have uh, different weights in your store. Rather, you should, have, you should do your business in the right way and make sure everybody has the same weight when they scale different things. What is the connection between that mitzvah and Amalek? Rashad Hirsch, Rav Shimshon Rafar Hirsch, explains that remembering what Amalek did to us is not just on the physical aspect of them trying to destroy us as a, as a nation. Rather, it is the spiritual effect of what Amalek was trying to do. Amalek does, does not believe in the world being a right place. It does not believe in righteousness. It does not believe in Hashem's ways. It does not believe in the fact that Hashem is the one that leads the world. When we act in a righteous way, when we conduct our business in a right way, we follow the understanding of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that also is when remembering Amalek. We will not be like Amalek. We will remember that Amalek tried to change the way the world is run. We won't do that. We will remember how the world is run. HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs the world. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one that teaches us that the world is a right place, and if it has something that needs to be fixed, it is on us to do that. That is what we need to remember. May we all remember that and live a life full of tzedek. Shabbat shalom.